Let's make something Mexican today. I'm going to use some ground turkey breast and some chicken broth and cilantro and tomatillos and breadcrumbs and egg and garlic and onion and wajillo chilies. I take my wajillo chili, they are dried chilies, and I cut the top off. You want to get rid of all the seeds. Then you want to cut up the side like I have here and then remove all the other seeds or most of them. It won't hurt if there's a couple three in there. And your tomatillos, uh, you want to remove the husk like that and get it off. And then I rinse them under water. And take your chilies and put them in a hot pan. This pan's been heating for a while. You just want to wake them up. Let them sit there. Turn them over. I'm going to take my chilies, my four chilies, put them in my a saucepan along with the tomatillos that have been washed with three small cloves of garlic and enough water about four cups a little less than four cups and I'm going to get this boiling when it's come up to a boil I'm going to cover it and allow this to boil for 15 minutes Going to add the uh, cooked tomatillos and the cooked chilies and garlic into my blender. They have been cooling off for a little bit, so it's not terribly hot. Add some of the cooking liquid, uh, about a fourth of a cup or so. Let's see if that's enough to get this started. Next, I'm going to take a, a little blob of lard, put it in my pan. And I'm going to put in onions, about a cup and a half of onion, a half a teaspoon of salt, and just get these onions cooking. The onions have pretty much cooked. I'm going to take some of them out. About three tablespoons of cooked onions there. And we'll start cooking the sauce a bit. I like to strain it because the skins of the wajillo chilies are pretty tough. You do not have to do this, but I'm going to. And I'm going to turn the camera off and get a spatula and clean all this out of the blender and get it all in there. I have this pretty much strained. I'm going to put a lid on it. Kind of like that. Because it will bubble. Kind of like when you cook tomato sauce. I'm going to let this cook five minutes, maybe a little longer. Next, I'm going to take my one pound of turkey, add some pepper to it, you could add, you know, it could be ground beef, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, it's kosher salt that's coarse, and a teaspoon of oregano, a fourth cup cilantro, a fourth cup breadcrumbs, and one egg. And 
I'll just get this all mixed up. Here I, I made my meatballs, but I forgot to add that onion that I took out of the saucepan. So I'm going to mix this back up together and make the meatballs again. The sauce has simmered about 10 minutes while I made the meatballs. I'm going to add around a cup of chicken broth just to thin this out. that. I'm going to add the meatballs to the sauce and we'll cook these for at least a half hour, probably 40 minutes, uncovered here. And they have to bubble the whole time. So don't start your timer until for 40 minutes until uh, they start to bubble. Let's have a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. This is very, very nice. Very nice. Mm. It's very mild. It just has that wonderful Mexican flavor. It's just good. Very good. I hope you try it. And thank you so much for watching.